everybody, it's me, Peppermint, and I am here bringing you a third season of Wish This Is What I Bought. Now, have you ever been so excited to get something in the mail and finally get it home and open it, and it's nothing like what you thought it was gonna oh, be? Oh, no. Well, have no fear. I'm gonna take care of you. I am going to be your testing diva, uh, and I have my fierce and fabulous friend and sidekick and assistant, Antoine who travels the world with me, and we've we've gotten into a lot of stuff. We've seen, we've been in every car, every elevator, every product, every lotion, every cream, everything you can eat. We've pretty much anything that there is to do, we've done it together. And so, you're the perfect person to have me with, to have with me on uh, season three. Are you excited? I'm so excited. I know you, yeah, yeah, I, I, I can't even, I can't even like talk. You got me so verklempt now. So uh, yeah, I'm so excited to be here. We've been traveling around and yes, it's gonna be great. Now, one thing that I do wanna mention is before we even get into this video, please click like, please subscribe and click the little bell that I think is down there so that your notifications are on and you know when I have another video. Today is our dollar store haul. And we decided to, I sent Antoine, I was like, Antoine, pick up some stuff. Antoine went and picked up his favorite stuff that he thought would be kind of cute. These are things that we have no idea what they're, how they're gonna be, what they're gonna do. We did not order them from Wish, but we're doing them in the Wish video because we like to talk. <laughs> okay. So this is um, stuff from the dollar store. Number one is we are in the world of electronics. Everyone listens to music. Now, <laughs> these are a pair of trusty headphones. Mm-hmm. So these are some headphones. Uh, they really don't have too much information. Pretty much just the basics, okay? So now we see that their sensitivity is 90 decibels. The impedance is 300. It's all a bunch of numbers that you we never pay attention to, but I think I know the secret into whether or not these are gonna be a good pair of headphones is written right here. It might as well say bitch now. Um, so let's just give them a try. I'm gonna open these up. Well, the packaging is good. <laughs> Standard packaging. Now, these are definitely the types of headphones from the 90s. Are they tested, UL tested? No. All right, so they're actually kind of cute. They're nice and slim. These are actually the kind of headphones that I probably would have been looking oh, for in the 90s. Made in China as um, but already, it's acting a little crazy because if you can see here, it's just way too loose, but they're only a dollar. So we gotta try these out. I'm gonna put this on as your head, yeah. not mine. I'm trying to put them on my head. <laughs> okay. And I'm gonna plug this in and I'll play some music. Are you ready? Yes. Who wants to bet that only one of these ears is gonna work? If it's a weird. So the thing that I don't like about these headphones, th this type of headphone, even before we get, no matter what brand it is, is that, first of all, when you're listening to your music, everybody, it's, else. everybody else has listened yeah. to your music. Everyone else can hear it because they're blaring and you have to turn it up all the way to hear anything. That's the first thing. Second thing that I don't like about this headphone that I always felt real weird about is that in order to get them to really fit, you have to, I don't know if you can see this, you have to peel apart the wires, which doesn't feel right. Right? You know, have you ever done that? I have before. Okay, let's it peel. Let's see how long we can how we can peel. Okay, okay. Yeah. Great. So now they're nice and adjusted. You look straight up out of the 90s. You definitely do. Act like you're listening to music. Okay, Celine Dion. That he does. Okay, we're River D Mountain High. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, public Enemy. <laughs> Classical. <laughs> Peppermint. <laughs> okay, somebody's telling you. <laughs> Somebody's telling you, sir, we need that seat on the subway, but you don't want to hear him. Ah! 
<laughs> okay, okay, okay. Very good. Active. So now it's time. Here is the big old test here. Now you all can't hear this. So you're gonna have to take our word for it. The EQ, how clear something sounds and how bassy it is. It's really the bass that really tells what kind of drivers are in the headphones. <clears throat> so we're gonna be listening to this. And I have to say these do fit nicely, quite snug for no adjustment. But yeah, yeah, cause I can't adjust them, but they just kind of stick to your head. You ready? Well, it, there is a sound. The quality is not that bad. Can you hear it? I can hear it. Can you hear it? Okay. Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. You can hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Okay, I was like, okay, I was like. But okay. you can hear me now? Yeah. Just like normal. Yeah. These, headf these headphones yeah, are failing the test of the one thing that you, I mean, you sh I guess it's safer. It, I can hear this. I hear that. Yeah, I can hear that. Okay, okay. So what's the music sound like? The music sounds great. I mean, I wish you could, You it, it actually is nice because I can hear everything and also hear the music but you hear the music. I wish it was different that like- yeah, but you, you don't want to hear, hear everything. I would like, sometimes I don't mind hearing, you know, if I'm walking down the street, I don't mind hearing, Yeah, you know. it's safer, it's safer. Listen, they do say that you're not supposed to listen to your headphones walking down the street or when you're in or around traffic. So keep that in mind, kids. That is true. Okay, let me take a but listen. But in this but case, too much. if we're here, you don't want to really let everybody else know what you're listening to. No. If you want some privacy, some privacy in your uh, music, I guess. Uh, you think this sounds good? I mean, I'm not. That's because it's we paid, a, we, paid a, we paid a dollar for it, so I uh, I think it sounds great for a dollar. If you think about it, it would was, you use these to listen to your music? If I had to go, if I had to, you know what? I think I'm gonna take them with me today. <laughs> No, you not. You take my, these back to the stove. Oh, Just look, kidding. we've already opened. <laughs> I can't. No, okay. To be I, honest, my iPhone uh, earphones are not working. And okay, honey. If Here you those, go. Let's you know, see. I, let's I'll see. rock these. Still. I I want to see you wearing these in three months. Okay. Cool. Still, well, I mean, every day. We'll see. Every day. Okay. So, right. what do you give that? Do you give this a thumbs up? I give this uh, for the price that I got it for a dollar. I give it a thumbs up. Um, if we're if we're really gonna talk about. No, do you give this a thumbs up? Mm. That's a thumbs down. That's a thumbs down. We're gonna yeah. give it a thumbs up. But I will let you know if they actually last more than a day or two. So the next thing in our dollar store haul is LA Colors Color Ball, which sounds like a lot of fun. It's actually pretty cool. But I happen to know that this is a discontinued product from the actual 90s. Oh. <laughs> Well, so let's give this a try. We're gonna open it. Can we get it? You got it. It actually looks pretty cute. I mean, they're they're being um, they're being really out of the box here by saying, you know, look. Our chapstick is triangle shaped. I do think that's really interesting that it's triangle shaped. The question is, what does it look like? Ooh, I did not expect that. It actually is very sleek packaging. Because if I was like, oh, hold on a second, you wouldn't know what, you'd be like, what the f <laughs> Oh, excuse me. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> about to do. <laughs> you don't know if this is lipstick or a, or a, a, a uh, some kind of spray, whatever. But it's really chic looking. Actually beautiful. So I do like the way that looks. Like this is actually like, I actually am starting to like this. You like it? All right, well Oops. should we try it? Yeah, we should try it. We as in me, I'll, you. I'll try it. And it's smooth, it's nice smooth looking. Okay, give that a try. Smell it. Mm. 
does not smell bad. No. The test. All right. How's it feel? <laughs> it feels artificial, but um, well, okay. Like it doesn't feel like natural, like cocoa butter. No, but it feels. It's petroleum. Yeah, it feels like I have a Vaseline. 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 <laughs> Which I'm used to Does it have any? In the bed. Yeah. No, it's not Does it have any but, uh, other uh, things than just Vaseline? It's mineral oil, mm. parfinium liquidum, ceresin, ethyl polymate, hydrogenated coconut oil, tridactyl trimelinate, crystallinine, wax, sera microcrystallinia. <laughs> okay. Do you like it? Um, no, no, I don't love it. No. I don't like it either. So this is an item that you would not buy from the dollar store. If you could, oh, if, oh, you just mess up. If you could buy it from a, like a Dwayne Reed or another store, you would rather do that instead. Like buy a different brand. A different brand, yeah. I like Sorry, the idea. Sorry, LA. I like, I like the idea or, of it. So I give this a thumbs down. What do you think? I give it a thumbs down. Sorry. And last but not least, and this is actually really helpful for you to have just in case you are, well, this is what the item is. It is a micro USB, retractable micro USB cable, which you can use to charge or for data transfer. I wouldn't necessarily use it for data transfer, but it, I've been in a pinch. Um, and so this is the type of uh, charging head that goes into any USB port. Your computer, something in your car, the wall sockets now. Um, but it has a micro USB head, which means that this can charge some Android phones, many electronic headphones, Bluetooth chargers, battery packs. Um, that's usually what the micro USB cable is for. Wait, it has the tracks. Okay. What do you think? Let's see. Should so it says pull it from each end. It retracts. How much does it retract? Don't go all the way, but. I think the cool thing about this is that it retracts. Yeah. The thing about this that I don't like is that it only retracts to what a normal, less than what a normal cable would be. So, yeah, I do like it. But it's cool, you could use it like, like a weapon, like, you know, you're like walking down the street. <laughs> And somebody tries to come, somebody tries to do something to you. You, you, uh, you. Oh, am I the you, person you, yeah, walking? You, or, or I'm you walking. got the weapon. Okay, so let me. Uh, hey, okay, yo, what's up? Oh, 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 what is that? USB! That's <clears throat> one use for it, potentially. It is, so, um, yeah. it could be useful, though. I would keep this. I'll probably keep this. You want this? Do you have a. You know, I, I don't really want it, <laughs> but. Can we talk about my lips really quickly? How do they <laughs> look? Your lips look beautiful. They look no, good? No, that's okay. That is a mini USB. And what is this? That is like for Illustrator, so you can oh. draw like. If that's, a, that's called a mini USB. This is a micro USB. Fully charged, baby. It's all good. Thank you, Chris. Okay, so this item for me, just by virtue that it is a cable, and it must at least work maybe once, hopefully. It's gonna get a thumbs up from me. How about you? I'll give it a thumbs up as well. All right, so we're gonna keep that. Everything else, utter garbage. Yeah, well, you know, that's easy kind of dollar. Believe it or not, these are the best kind of products we could find in the dollar store. The only thing that I would have, it would have been like interesting to get, but way too inappropriate to try, would have been like, you know, dollar store depends or like some kind of like sanitary napkin but that would be kind of gross <laughs> the that only out. way to test that out <laughs> uh, well, not that kind of but thing. do do not worry because this season one thing that i wanted to let you know is that i'm going to be trying out some products that are a little more slightly elevated most of them are from wish so we're still on the wish kick but i i figured you know what why not if i'm going to review why not really review the products and so this was the it for our dollar store haul. The next set of products throughout the season are gonna be things that like people might really want. 
And so I want you to make sure that you tune in for that. Uh, in the meantime, sound off in the comments. What's the worst thing you've ever purchased or the most embarrassed thing you've, thing you've ever purchased from a dollar store? You tell me, what's uh, yours? The most embarrassing thing that I've ever purchased from a dollar store would have to be the, probably the lip balm. Are your lips okay? No! Ah! I think the most embarrassing thing that I've ever purchased from the dollar store was um, some skincare that I purchased. And that's fine, there's nothing wrong with getting from the dollar store. I go there all the, I'm in there every day. But it was already, when I opened it up, it was already dry and like crusted over. And so sometimes that happens with, in any store. But this was kind of like, oof. Of course I added water to it and tried to use it anyway and it didn't work. That's what's embarrassing. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So sound off in the comments, what are the, some, the most embarrassing things you have purchased from the dollar store? And what do you love to get from the dollar store? I'm not sure if this was a hit or miss because we did get some products that are like, you know, questionable. I'm still gonna try the earphones and my lips are okay. So they're, they're okay. I mean, so far, so good. But even though we gave them a thumbs down all around, but. This one got a thumbs up. They're not gonna fall off just Oh, the right? lips up. Yeah. yeah. What's that mark? Oh my God. Oh, no. um, so yeah, that's it. Thanks for tuning in to Wish This Is What I Bought. My name is Peppermint. This is Antoine. Antoine. And make sure you don't forget to like and subscribe the video so that you'll find out exactly when the next one is. Oh, click that bell so that you know exactly when the next video is going to come out. Um, for now, that's it.